The Salem Police Department is launching its body cam program next week. It's been in the work for two years, but was given the green light when the city council approved the budget. Brian Clerkley is live outside the Salem Police Department for us now, and Brian, officers will have those body cams in just a matter of days. Yeah, Brittany, Salem police will be wearing these body cameras starting Monday. It's going to be patrol officers as well as detectives working in the field. And, you know, police have been trained with this new equipment, and they say that this should help with community trust and holding both officers and the public accountable. This technology is just another tool in that plan around these ideas of transparency and accountability. All officers with the Salem Police Department will begin wearing these body cams starting on Monday. The department has been testing the cameras ahead of this launch. As you can see in this example, an incident where a dog was caught by his collar on a fence. It's been a long road for the department to get these devices. It's taken two years of planning even as many other police departments have used body cameras for years. Salem police had to set a budget, work with stakeholders, select the vendors, then test the cameras. That included testing in the field in, in stress conditions like weather conditions, low light conditions, uh, physical, you know, how well the, uh, the equipment stays on the officer. Patrol cars will also get in-car video along with body cameras. This process will be complete by the end of summer. When an officer goes out in the community, they tap their cameras on for any incident. After that, they would uh, turn off their camera once they've separated from that incident, and then they could Im immediately view it. It's Bluetooth connected. For the first 60 days, if an officer forgets to turn their body camera video on, there's a grace period. If they deliberately deactivate their cameras, they will be disciplined, according to Salem police officials. Officers will be allowed to review the footage before writing a report. We just look at this as another tool to help officers document very well in their reports what occurred. David Reinholt is the chair of the City of Salem Community Police Review Board. He says there's been some logistical issues, which is why the police department has taken so long to get the body cams. But this is a step in the right direction. I think it's a good thing for uh, the city as a whole, uh, both from the citizens of Salem and also for the police department. Um, the officers that I've talked to, are they're very happy about having the body cameras and, and you know, most of the citizens that I've talked about are happy as well. And when it comes to other large departments and them getting body cameras, Vancouver police say that they should be launching their program at the end of this month. And Portland police say that they would like to launch their program by the end of this year. Brittany. Brian, thank you.